What's going on everybody? It's Jazzy TV and today I thought I'd make a video explaining how I became a Bengals fan because you know what I don't think I've ever really got into detail on that um, You know so so growing up as a kid football 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 is my life You know me and my dad bonded over watching football and he coached me and Little League and everything and football was everything You know I love football with a passion I always have since I was five I've played since I was five so you know, he's a huge Cowboys fan. Um, so, you know, you know, he always put me in my Cowboys gear when I was like three, four, and five. And, you know, he'd always suit me up matching him for the games on Saturdays. I mean, Sundays. And um, so, you know, he's born and raised in, uh, here in uh, Texas. I'm born and raised here in Texas. So my dad pretty much tried to embed into me being a Cowboys fan, you know, just like him. And, you know, I understand because, you know, if I have a little boy someday, you know, I would love for him to be a Bengals fan. But if he wants to go a different route, hey, more power to you. But then my mom's a Saints fan. She's born and raised in New Orleans. So you got to think I had her trying to push a little bit of Saints on me, but not as much because she's not as big as a football fan as my dad. But anyways, like I said, me and my dad are huge football fans. So once I started getting old enough to like understand and like watch football every Sunday with my old man, you know, probably around the age of, I feel like you really understand around like age eight or nine, you know, because I'm playing it and I'm actually watching it and you watch certain players, I feel like when you're younger. The younger you are, I feel like you, a lot of these kids adapt to players before they adapt to a team. And you guys see it with the OBJ one-handed cats or, you know, I've just seen it all around, you know, they adapt to one player. And so, I really adapted to Chad Johnson. You know, we were just watching football one day, and I don't know if the Bengals were playing the Cowboys at that time. I don't really remember. I just remember telling my dad, I'm like, I like that guy. He's funny. He's got a lot of character. And so, you know, it went on to where Chad Johnson became my favorite player. So my dad got me this jersey right here. I, I still have it. It's a, uh, <laughs> a youth extra large. And this is my first ever football jersey that my dad got me. And it's my pride and joy, man. It's a little beat up. As you can tell, I wore it to school quite a bit. And, um, yeah, I mean, ever since he got me that jersey, man, I used to wear it 24-7. And that's how I became a big Bengals fan. Because once I really got into Chad Johnson, I even changed, like, my number to 85 and everything, just like him. And I really started watching the team as a whole. And so, basically, that's what did it right there, you know. And it's so crazy because, you know, I'm born and raised in Texas. And a, another big thing is why I feel like I adapted so much to Chad Johnson and the Bengals is because I wanted to be different. You know, I have my dad right here saying, be a Cowboys fan. My mom right here, be a Saints fan. But I like being different because I don't want to be like everybody else. Even though if I was, you know, born and raised in Cincinnati, I'd be like everybody else. But, you know, being born and raised here in Texas, I don't want to be a Cowboys fan like everybody else. I don't want to be a Texans fan like everybody else. You know, and I love underdogs. So, you know... I feel like that helped me adapt to them. But, yeah, that's the main story how I became a Bengals fan. I'm so passionate about them now. I would never change it for the world. I mean, I can't change it. I have a tattoo of their helmet on my calf since I was 16. So six years now I've had a tattoo of their helmet on my calf. So I would never change that for the world. You know, I've had, many people have asked me, would you ever get that tattoo removed? And I said, no. I said, not, not, you couldn't pay me 15 bajillion million dollars to get it removed no i ride or die for my team no matter what and that's what you have to do so hey thank you guys so much for tuning in jazzy tv hey like i said i'm gonna keep this jersey forever maybe my kid can wear it one day even though it's a little rusty but hey you gotta start somewhere but now you guys know why i'm a bingos fan who they nation baby let's get it prove all these haters wrong this season let's go peace